joining us now to talk about, oh, so much, is uh, Ari Fleischer, former press secretary to George W. Bush and also president of Fleischer Sports. Hello, Ari. Great to be with you, Steve. Thanks well, for having me. My pleasure. Thanks you for, uh, for coming on. We have so much to get to. That, that sound bite, to me, I've said this, uh, started saying this yesterday, that was a combination of uh, what difference does it make, and for anyone who's interested, there's a vast right-wing conspiracy. Yeah, you, you, you nailed it. You know, here's the fundamental problem with what the administration's done on Benghazi. The president running for re-election on the basis of al-Qaeda is on the run and is being destroyed. Two months before his re-election, we're hit by a terrorist attack. And they can't call it one because it, it would cut against their campaign theme. So they blame it on the YouTube video, which also allowed the president to leave the White House that day and go fundraising out in the state of Nevada. Now, if, if we're hit by a terrorist attack, the president needs to man his desk, not leave the White House, and start working on reaction to the attack. They didn't do that, and so they backfilled the story of the video. That's what's so troubling to me about all this. The White House did not deal straight with the American people, and that's a tragedy. Not a travesty. And we know now, according to uh, uh, the former uh, NSC spokesman, that uh, uh, Obama was not in the Situation Room. Now, when asked where he was, uh, he said, I don't know. I mean, in the White House, but he didn't know where. I mean, wouldn't it be incumbent upon a president to come down in a situation like that? Yeah, they, they still haven't told us where he was, all of which suggests to me that this was a White House who just didn't take the attack very seriously. They were so focused on the re-election of the president and that al-Qaeda is on the run that they could not open up their minds to the possibility of America being under attack. And I was there when America was attacked on September 11th. And the reaction of any administration, Democratic or Republican, has got to be to do everything possible to protect American lives and to strike back. This is not what happened. When you see, uh, you know, uh, if you want to weigh in on, uh, on, on one, a member of your uh, very exclusive club, uh, you know, Jay Carney's uh, come under very heavy criticism from the, even the mainstream media, which I was shocked at once this uh, email from Rhodes came out that Judicial Watch got a hold of. Um, and, and Jay Carney actually said this had nothing to do with Benghazi. And uh, really, uh, some of the journalists were, have been incredulous at, at how he's been handling this. Uh, how do you rate? Why, or do you feel for him, or do you do you, do you you know empathize, sympathize, or do you think it's uh, it's outrageous? No, I think that was one of Jay's lowest days, and he's had many low days. But the, to to say that black is not white, white is not black, of course that memo was about Benghazi, and it also makes you wonder what else is about Benghazi that they have not released under that same thinking that if it's about Benghazi, we'll just say it's not. That way we don't have to release it. And that, frankly, is why the administration had this committee get created. The committee was created because the administration helped create it by not providing information, by not being forthcoming, and by trying to trick the American people into thinking this was done by, caused by a YouTube video. They brought this about on themselves, and it should be a bipartisan investigation. I hope the Democrats will join in this investigation. And let me also say, I hope Republicans don't go too far. So well, I, I was going to ask you about that, Ari. Yeah, not yeah. to interrupt. I was going to because everyone from George Will to Al Sharpton <laughs> have been warning the Republicans that this could backfire. I was I was desperately wanting to know what, where you stand on this. Well, for example, one of the things I've heard Republicans say is that there should have been a military rescue raid, and did the administration demand that the Pentagon not save people? You know, I don't care what party they are. The people in government are going to try to save people's lives. And the military, the truth is, is one of the slowest moving, most risk adverse institutions we have in government. They're not a SWAT team with a police force that responds to 911 calls. They're huge. They can win wars. We can send tanks in. But it takes months to get prepared. They don't do anything fast, and that's especially a on the ground, instant instant rescue mission. They have to have backup plans. They have backup plans for their backup plans. So it doesn't surprise me that the Pentagon could not take any action. So I just think people should not say that the administration let people die. Things like that nature go too far. What they did do that's so objectionable, though, is to protect the president's reelection, they concocted a story about a YouTube video. Right. They weren't straight with the American people. How, how much uh, culpability will Hillary have here? Because one of the questions that, especially if she's going to run for president, is it good enough for her to sit there and say, 
uh, again, I guess, because she said it once. Uh, well, I never saw the request for uh, for more, uh, uh, you know, a, more security for the embassy. Does she also have to answer why, when the Red Cross even pulled out of there and all the other embassies closed, why were we the only ones remaining with no security? I mean, well, she, she does, but yeah. frankly, I, I think those decisions get made in the bowels of the State Department. The Secretary of State is not a security expert, and they don't make the decisions about who gets what around the world. Other people at State do that. So, frankly, I, I know people are making that charge against the Secretary herself. My question to her would be, why didn't you do those shows on Sunday? Did you think there was more to this and you weren't prepared or willing to say this is the blame of a YouTube video? So you had somebody odd, the United Nations ambassador, who has nothing to do with this, go on the shows. It just strikes me, knowing how Washington works and how people make decisions to go on or not go on those shows, that she deliberately didn't want to go on because she knew the information that was being fed was bad, wrong information, and she wouldn't say it. Yeah. So half to her credit, she probably smelled a rat, but to her fault, she kept it to herself. What about uh, Boko Haram? Now it turns out that to the State Department, uh, I have a letter from Peter King to Hillary uh, saying, please declare them a, a terrorist group, uh, put them on the list, and uh, the State Department for two years refused. And now, of course, she tweeted out yesterday, you know, save the girls, uh, this is terrible. Uh, does she have culpability there? Yeah, I think she does there, not in the attack in any way. No, 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 no. In terms of the judgment yeah. for why they weren't ter called a terrorist organization. You know, they were now under Secretary Kerry calling the terrorist to stop terrorism. But it does raise questions of her judgment. Why wouldn't the State Department have called them terrorists? Was there a reason they didn't want it to? Uh, and, and that's a question of judgment, leadership, strength in foreign policy. And my beef with the Obama administration is the lack of strength in foreign policy. All right, I can't wait, Ari. As much as I could talk politics with you all day long, when we come back, um, of course, uh, the uh, part two of your uh, your resume here uh, is uh, Fleischer Sports. And I uh, can't wait to talk about the NFL draft yesterday, what's going on in the NBA, uh, and, uh, and get your take on that. And we'll do that with Ari Fleischer right here, folks, on the Steve Malsberg Show. So don't miss it. Uh, you get uh, a two-parter with uh, Ari Fleischer today. Don't go away.